quarantine with Mary. I'm Mary and today we are making tacos. So this is a very Americanized version of tacos. We're going to be putting our taco meat into big flour tortillas. So kind of in between a taco and a burrito. We're going to start with whatever kind of ground meat that you want to use. I'm using ground turkey. You could definitely use ground beef. We use ground turkey for just about every um, every time we make ground meat. So that's what we're using today. Evidently this isn't quite all the way on thawed, so that's okay. The way on pretty quick in the pan. And for our tacos, the reason I thought maybe you guys would want to see my taco recipe is because I don't use taco seasoning in my taco recipe. That's kind of the, you know, golden standard is that you fry up your ground meat and then you put taco seasoning on and call it good. This, I don't use any taco seasoning. I'm gonna instead be using chili. I use Nally's chili. You can use whatever your favorite chili is. And then I'm using salsa. Just the salsa, you know, like, kinda like paste salsa, whatever kind you like. And that's it. And then we're gonna throw it into flour tortillas and put all the toppings on it. We like to put sour cream and cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, all of it. Whatever kind of toppings you want. This recipe, the kind of meat and the chili all together, works really good for tacos, so or tacos, for nachos. So a lot of times I'll make a big um, amount of this and then for the leftovers we'll have nachos a couple days after we have the tacos. So you can really do a lot of things with the meat. We're gonna get this all cooked up and then we're gonna come back and add in our chili and our salsa. Our ground turkey is all cooked and we're gonna put our chili and our salsa in. So after we put the chili and the salsa in, we just have to let everything warm up, kind of come together. Everything's already cooked now. We're just gonna get it all mixed up. The nice thing about the chili is that the beans in here help kind of you know, add more substance and it spreads your meal out. So you can get more bang for your buck out of this meal when you add beans. Okay. Our salsa. So you guys, I'm getting unquarantined. So starting next week, we won't be putting out as many videos, which makes me sad, but I hope that you've been enjoying our almost daily videos so far. But we're gonna try hard to keep bringing you some videos at least a couple a week, even when I go back to working full time. So I hope that you guys are using the recipes and enjoying them, and we're gonna keep bringing them to you um, at least a couple a week. So just wanted to give you a heads up. I hope that your quarantining time is going well. Mine is just coming to an end sooner than a lot of people's. So we're gonna let this hang out, get all nice and warm, and then I'll be back with some tortillas. Our taco mixture is all nice and warm. I'm just gonna make us a taco real quick. Like I said, these are kind of more in between a taco and a burrito. I just like to add sour cream, and this one is for one of the boys, so they just want sour cream and cheese. But usually you put lettuce and tomato, you can put avocado, onions, I mean, whatever topping, whatever filling that you like. You can even put beans in here or rice. Really, the options are endless. So there is our taco. And I hope you like our recipe. Thanks for spending some quality quarantine cooking time with me.